Welcome back to another one of my videos. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Lata, and today I'm going to be making another one of my Oma's recipes. So in this video, we're going to be making a apple and almond butter cake. Now in German, this cake is called Zuckerkuchen oder Butterkuchen, and it's very traditional, and I think every German knows this cake. Now this one is a little bit different because it also has applesauce in it, which I've never done before until today, and I'm very excited about it. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Now the first thing we need to do is make our yeast dough so we can get that proofing. So for that you're going to need 7 grams of dried yeast or 21 grams of fresh yeast, 250 milliliters of lukewarm milk, 75 grams of sugar. I'm also going to be using some almond extract. You can skip that if you don't have it or if you just don't want to use it. 50 grams of softened butter, one egg, one pinch of salt, and last but not least, 400 grams of flour. Now, just like any time that we make a yeast dough, we're going to let our yeast bloom with a bit of our sugar and a splash of milk. And we're gonna set that aside for about 10 minutes. Now, in the meantime, we can already add the remainder of our ingredients into our big mixing bowl. Now remember that the salt should always go along the edges so it comes in contact with the yeast at the very end. So it's been about 5-10 minutes and our yeast is looking super bubbly and gross which is exactly how you want it to be. This way you know that it's active and you're going to get a nice fluffy dough. Now at this point we can add all of this into the center of our bowl and then we're going to simply knead that together for about 5-10 to 10 minutes or until we have a nice smooth dough ball. Now as you can tell, this yeast dough is a little bit more sticky and a little bit more liquid than other yeast doughs that we've made on our channel. And that's just because it uses 400 instead of 500 grams of flour, which is typical for a yeast dough. But this is exactly how you want it to be. Now at this point you can either let your dough proof in your bowl like this for 30 to 60 minutes or until it's doubled in size. Or you can already go ahead and spread this into a pre-lined tin and let it proof that way. By letting your dough proof in your pre-lined tin, you're also going to cut down the proofing time by a couple of minutes just because it's thinned out a little bit more and it's not in a big blob like this. Now you want to spread out your dough as best as you can at this point. Now if you can't get it completely into all the corners, that's totally okay. You can fix it up after you've let your dough proof. Now remember that your proofing time is going to vary depending on if you let it proof on your tray, in your bowl, as well as the temperature of your house or where you're letting your dough proof. Now Oma said to let it proof in your baking tray like this and then stick it into the oven that's been preheated to 50 degrees Celsius, so very low heat. And then according to Oma, it should take about 20 minutes to double in size. But once again, it might take a little bit longer for you depending on your oven or where you're letting it proof and all those factors. So once you think it's doubled in size, you can move on to the next step. Now for the topping of the cake, you're going to need 100 grams of butter that's been cut into little knobs like this, 50 grams of shaved almonds, 75 grams of sugar, and applesauce. 
Now, there weren't any instructions given really on the amount of applesauce to use in total. She basically just said one spoonful of applesauce onto each little knob of butter. I don't know how much that's going to be in total. I would say between a cup and a cup and a half of applesauce. Now we also made this applesauce in 2018, which is a couple years ago, and we haven't really been eating it a lot, so I feel like this cake is just an excuse to kind of use up the last couple jars of applesauce. I mean, we're not gonna use the whole jar of applesauce, but at least once it's opened, we're gonna eat it, so. It's been like 30 minutes and my dough has definitely doubled in size. So before I go ahead and add my toppings, I'm just going to make sure that it's properly pressed into all the corners. Now essentially all we're going to do is take our knobs of butter and stick it into our dough. Then add one spoonful of our applesauce right onto each piece of our butter. And at the very end, we're going to sprinkle the sugar and the almonds evenly right on top. Now for reference, this is how much applesauce I ended up using. Now at this point we can let the cake proof for another 20-ish minutes and in the meantime we can already go ahead and preheat the oven to 392 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius. Now once the oven has reached its temperature, you're going to want to bake your cake for about 20 minutes or until it's nice and golden brown. And there you go, Oma's Apple Almond Butter Cake. So that's going to be everything for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, you can give it a thumbs up or write me a comment down below. And as always, the whole recipe is going to be in the description box as well. And if you want to see more videos of me recreating Oma's recipes, let me know as well.